Oh. Hello. Hello. Um, Adam, you brought Hello. us another video, haven't you? Yes. This is a video of Area X from Res Infinite in yes, VR. Ooh, you're playing it in VR. Holy shit, Which is Res why it's... VR, um, isn't it? Yeah, I'm hoping for a... Or I'm glad they did a full version of this game. Or, or may not turn out, since we haven't Were you or were you not off your face whilst, whilst doing this? Uh, no, but I, I do apologise. It's going to be a bit shaky in places because... Um, it plays very much like Res, for anyone who's played Res. Uh, oh, free movement of the person. Quite figured out the controls at this point again, because I didn't bother looking at the screen. And the... <laughs> You, got, you, got you could either use your thumbsticks or you could look, <laughs> and I was sort of doing a mixture of both. So you, sometimes you might not see a lot. Is more open plan. So yeah, you, with the shoulder buttons, you could turn around and fly in different directions and move up and down and swizz around and jazz and jizz. It's awesome. very pretty. Sorry, I'm, very I'm pretty. genuinely. I just apologise for my head right now. The music is mental, isn't it? Uh -huh. Because, um, well, <laughs> I loved this on the Dreamcast back in the day, and they, I think you got a PS2 release, no? Uh, yes, I, play, I remember playing it on the PS2, actually, the original. Uh, no, the Dreamcast, I played it. Yeah. Released, didn't it? Uh, probably PS3 as well. Res it was Dreamcast first, wasn't it? Oh, it was Dreamcast first, yeah. This is a stunning game. And yeah, I remember thinking, oh, wow, I can't believe this is coming on, on VR, but I've never seen this. As, as I suspected, it does lose a sense of scale quite considerably on the video, obviously. It's just like a... you're a lot closer than this, aren't you? Yeah, because he, he's pretty big in your line of sight, but obviously everything's... Like, all these sudden things are all meant, like, completely around you, so it's pretty, uh... It's quite mesmerising. Well, a full game of this would be. Have you yeah. played any of these before, uh, Stabby or Ben? Res, obviously, I've played the Dreamcast. Uh, no, I played the demo of Res on the VR, but I've, I've never, I never actually played Res before, and so I never got it. I got Child of Eden, but I, I never played that either. It's just one sat on my shelf, you know. I had it on the PS3 because you could um, use the move controllers, couldn't you? Because it was a big Connect game. It's supposed to be all right on Connect, apparently. One of the few games that worked on Connect. The best version is meant to be the PS3. Yeah, Res XT, but this looks stunning. Yeah, because um, yeah, with obviously this comes as part of the Res, like you could play normal Res in VR as well. Right. Easy, because the, there's that sense of scale that you didn't know existed within the game at all. Um, but you don't obviously get to move around. You get to look all around you, but you don't get to. It's not quite as free as this is for me because I'm not really a really person at all. Because <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing when I played the demo, and, and I think I figured out I preferred looking to fire where where I was. Do you know what I mean? Rather than actually using the controller, if that makes sense. I don't know what, what yeah. do you prefer, Adam. Is it using your face, are you, to, to target? I think I think I do prefer looking, but I was, while I was playing this, I was thinking, right, if I move if I move my head too much all of the time, it's the. Yeah, so. yeah. I'm trying not. to use the head, I'm trying to use the thumbstick as well. I should imagine you've got Parkinson's. <laughs> <laughs> like, eat Valkyries, like, when you target with your head, it's brilliant. So you look at your shoe, look to lock on. So what's the objective of this game, then? Is just to get points, or is there a... Can you die? It's to evolve. I sort of get points, and you evolve yourself. So um, every now and then you can shoot away. What's the objective? Just Let take it. Look at it. This is a game. You get This is a game. You need like a groin attachment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. You definitely can die in res, though. But I'm, I'm gonna die. You do die in res, yeah. Yeah, if you, if you devolve enough, don't you, you eventually die. It's, it's, it's quite hard to do. There's boss fights as well, isn't there? Yeah. Like big, I mean, the first thing, that's a great big orbital thing, like the layers. See, I'd imagine all this would be right in front of your face right now. That thing flying around you would be right in front of you. Is, is that yeah, right? that thing that flies in front of you, it's about, oh, it's like it's about 100 foot long. 
so yeah. Motherfucking zap those parcels like that. See, I mean, look, I know we, like, jokingly said, and, well, kind of half-jokingly said that VR is, is dead, but does this kind of almost justify its purchase to a certain degree, would you say? It's one of those things which does, because you, it's just... get yeah, uh, just on a, on a standard... Uh, it is a proof of concept, but whether or not it, it, it lasts at all is different, but I don't regret... I think you said the other week... you. you Right, I don't regret getting VR, and it is you know, an expensive thing to have a few experiences on, but have any of them because I've been able to have them. If that makes any sense. Mm. Yeah, I mean, this is the kind of thing you'd expect to see in like an arcade, if you know what I mean, back in the day. Not yeah, a special thing you'd pay twenty-five quid to go sit in, and go, oh, that was awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah, so this is like a big floaty ball thing, and these arms are really long, and you just sort of fly around and shoot its flowers. To reveal it, but that ball is like the same one from the first race game, the first boss level. Yeah, yeah. Where am I? Where am I? See, now I want a, a gravity shift kind of game like this. What's that? Gravity, was it one <laughs> on the uh, rush? Gravity rush. There you go. That would be cool with it, sort of flying around. That would actually. I probably meant the flying good. <laughs> oh, I should have flown through more of the particle clouds. So this is PlayStation exclusive, isn't it, I believe, at the moment? Uh, the other VR yes. Device. No. Which is what it's like a... Sorry, do you use your <laughs> Oculus anymore? Um, it's made it work now. Is it? <laughs> That's what it was got for, wasn't it? Exactly. I tried to bring it home for a while. I just see you get the rift. You keep advertising the rift for quite a lot. No, 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 what's the other one? The five. Five, yeah. Five. <laughs> that was on the best of conference we were showing Fallout. They got uh, Doom as well, is there VR Doom? Yeah. That'll be crazy. <clears throat> They've sorted out something with the movement in the ad so you couldn't hair around like that at the time, it'd make you... Yeah, yeah, because you sort of teleport everywhere. I just reckon if I ever had it, I'd have that, there'd be the element of... not can't be asked to get it out. Do you know what I mean by that? If it's set up, it's not actually hard, you just press a button. Yeah. Much of a faff to set up, really. And if, you, if you've if you got space to put it next to your PS4 or no, something, then... I haven't, but yeah. Yeah, you just put the helmet on and... Let's go. Is there like a leaderboard or anything? As you can see other people. Uh, I don't know on this actually, to be honest. I know there, there's all the online leaderboards and stuff for the for the standard res bit, but I'm not sure about this bit. Oh, yeah, that's fucking cool. Oh. Yeah, there's a giant at 209 just dancing. So Should have moved. Round four. <laughs> uh, I take it this level's like a, a Dreamcast level, is it? No, oh, this is new. Oh, is it brand new? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's new. Brand new. It's like as if um, I suppose as if you had one full level because I think there's like you used to get like was it ten stages or so in in uh, Res, didn't you? But you could mm. get to the boss earlier if you collected all the. Um, was there a which was the hardest one to get to? I think I remember the first game being oh, yeah. more whites and, whites and golds, wasn't it? It was a bit more of a brighter game, wasn't it, Chris? It, it, it looks very, very bright when you're actually playing it, because oh. you're, not, you're not getting all of the pixels and, and lighting that you can actually see in the... Yeah. Because it, it's really punchy, because that's an OLED screen and it, the, the colours are really, really bang on it, which is really nice, and the blacks are really bang. Yeah, I could just play this shit all day. So this this video is like 11 minutes long. So is this how long that level takes? Then I take it. I didn't. No, I, I got to like the final boss, uh, but I didn't do the final boss. Okay. Drawing on the state of mind, I knew being that colour. Ruin it. You've got to ruin it. 
But the, apparently there's little turn up bus and stuff to do as well. I don't think I've got to them yet. I'll have to have a look and see how you how you unlock it. It's quite weird, because really you don't have to have that to do with it. So it's good. Good character. No, I suppose not. But I suppose he might, he might look different from what Adam's saying. Is it, is it a reference point, I guess, for you? Or? Sort of, yeah. But it's like Child of Eden didn't have a character, I don't think, did he? Just, you literally were just a, just a target in the thing, the better call. Because hmm. it's kind of hard to see there, but I think in the background is like a, like a city, uh, a bit like um, how Neo sees the real world in The Matrix. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you're scaling up to a big city, which is very nice. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pick this up. I think it does look very cool. I, I enjoyed the demo, of what I played of it. Any sync issues? No, not at all, actually. I know. Who's this? That's the boss. Oh yeah. She looks scary. Looks a bit undead then. Don't see black people with black hair. <laughs> I'm sure I'd fly up to her. I think I wanted to see if you could hit her in the boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, you got about 10 seconds left. Yeah. Or I might I just be seeing if you could see her boobs. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool, man. Bye bye.